Hi, my name is Kayla and this is my husband Elijah. We're currently moving into our second home that we just built and we're doing it during the holidays with two kids. So you can just imagine the chaos that's going on in the house, but we are very excited to have you guys a part of this journey with our family and we just can't wait to share more of this home with you. Yesterday was hectic. We didn't even get a lot done. This is all we got done. We bought boxes at Home Depot. We needed more because we were trying to reuse all these boxes from my PR and it's not enough, so we ended up having to buy more. So right now we're packing. Miss Girl is here in her little jumper right now, just jumping around. I'll Can hold I it still. I wish they gave like boxes for free. Like there's we have to pay for these boxes. They should like have a company where you can reuse boxes. So we are in the girls' room. I'm so sad to take apart this bedroom because I worked so hard on it. In our new house, we did like flat walls instead of like the texture walls. So we're planning on doing like wallpaper for both the girls' rooms. Our house here has texture walls and these little sticker daisies still kind of stayed on for a long time. I used to have rainbow ones and those stayed on like forever. We're gonna start putting all of their stuff away. Don't get these daisy stickers from Amazon because they're literally ripping up the paint on the wall compared to the old rainbow stickers that I had. That did not rip up the wall. This is ripping it up. So it looks like I'm probably gonna have to repaint this whole entire wall before we move out. <laughs> We just got to the new house and I'm trying to set up Eliana's tablet right now. Yeah, I'm watching. Mommy, you want to be done? You want to watch Baby Shark? Okay. <sighs> For us, the holidays mean spending a lot of time together as a family. But with the moving going on, sometimes we just need a little help and support. So when I am ready for some hands-on activities, Noggin has so many resources that allow me to tie my toddler's fun with her favorite games, shows, and characters. There's many personalized interactive learning programs for kids two to seven that was developed by educational experts. My toddler loves to be very crafty, so her favorite feature is the Crafty Corner. It's a place where she can do lots of art-related activities like draw, paint, and create little masterpieces. This hub includes nine crafty videos with the help of your kids' favorite characters, especially some of my toddlers, which is Blue. My toddler has learned so much from Noggin, and she has created so many connections with the games and the shows that she's been watching. If you're a parent or you know someone who is, Noggin is a great gift for the family, especially during this time of the year. If you click the link in my bio, you can get a 60-day free trial, which I can guarantee you and your kids will love. Thank you, Noggin, for sponsoring today's video. I am Noggin. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out what to do with these vases and where to put them. This got sent to us from Lulu in Georgia, so I'm trying to figure out what to do with that. But I'm debating if we should put our like our fancy plates like right here. What do you think? Why don't you or, put these like right here, covering this outlet? Oh wait, yeah. Actually, can you try that? You think so? Oh, so are you like an expert interior designer now? As long as it's not near the sink, I think it's fine. Okay. So we're at the new house right now. It's getting a little late and we're trying to unpack everything. So the pantry is getting done right now. And Elijah's, um, what are you doing? I'm helping. <laughs> and then Elijah is steaming the currants. He's doing the man's job. <laughs> no, no, it's just like, it's funny because I was building the patio furniture yesterday and you were steaming currants. <laughs> Surprisingly, it actually takes a long time to steam currants, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six currants outside already, and then we have four more here, and we still have to buy some for the living room. We can't find any that are long. These are like our pretty dishes, so I want to either put them here or or in this clear glass right here where you can see them. 
we've been staying late hours like in this home trying to unpack everything i did a lot of things off camera because we had so many things come up like i had a work trip to go to la so that kind of like delayed everything and we're kind of on a tight schedule on trying to move out because we have to put the other house up for rent on the 11th it's literally so hard to move with two kids because we have no one else to watch the girls it's kind of just like us so it's a little tricky we mostly stay like late nights out here so like when my parents do get off we drop the girls off and then we're kind of just like here really late at night trying to get things done what we've gotten done so far is we got all the security cameras set up that was the first things we did and then we did the kern rods which you guys can see right here i actually did these elijah did the living room one because it was really tall and i'll show you guys it's right over there. I'm washing all the dishes right now and I'm just unpacking all the boxes. So far we've gotten a lot of the boxes unpacked, but it's kind of just like organizing everything now. Like I'm trying to figure out the scheme here. I didn't want to make like the packing and unpacking video like five parts to this home series. Oh, there's Eliana. Only because it's like boring to like watch us pack stuff and then unpack it and it's very stressful. So doing like the bedrooms and stuff will be a whole series. We're planning on moving in hopefully by Saturday. The only thing we have to bring in is all the heavy furniture, which we actually have to hire movers to do that. Unfortunately, we would not be able to move some furniture because they're just way too heavy. So I want to show you guys some of the things that I've gotten done in the house. We had like two people here. This is our pantry and it finally got finished. Sam is doing all like the closets and the pantries and then Tyler's doing the bathroom. So I need to show you the laundry room now. So he finally got the shelf in and it literally looks amazing. Look at this. He stained it black, which looks so beautiful and it looks good with the washer and dryer And I don't even think I showed you guys the washer and dryer. We ended up getting the Samsung smart wash and dryer We originally wanted the top load, but it was sold out and it wouldn't have come in till like two months from now So we ended up going for this one But then when I posted a video about it a bunch of people kept saying that Samsung always breaks and so I'm like Ugh, I'm a little scared my mom has a Samsung though. So I'm excited to decorate here I'm gonna put like glass jars when you guys saw the empty house tour the bathroom was demolished So I'm gonna show you guys the bathroom as of right now it's still getting completed here is our bathroom so we used to have like a dark gray flooring and it just didn't look good with the wood floors so we ended up going with light and also because this bathroom only has one window too so when we did like the dark walls and the dark flooring it made the bathroom look really dark it was kind of dark like the laundry room flooring so we had to go with something light and i'm i'm absolutely like in love with it he leveled out the shower so before you had to actually step down in the shower so this looks so much better and he also changed out the drain as well and then this is like what looks so freaking beautiful so the flooring here is actually going to go on this side of the wall and this side of the wall and i think it just blends really nicely here's my little helper are you painting yeah i'm painting you're painting you look crazy with your hair wow are you painting yeah, I'm painting. Wow, you're doing a good job. What color are you painting? I think so bad. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you guys a little bit of some of the things that we got for the bedroom, but I'm saving it for a video because we're going to do like a whole dedicated video of like decorating bedrooms, but this is the nightstands we got. This is my vanity chair that actually goes right here. I bought these brown accent chairs and they were supposed to go in the living room, but I think they were just a tad bit short for the room. I'm gonna sit down and demonstrate for y'all. Like, I just think they're like a little short for the house. Like the house is like 12 foot ceilings and... Ooh. And then on Monday, our electrician is supposed to come in and change out all these light fixtures, which I'm really excited about too because they just been an eyesore to me. I want to show you guys more of like everything that we have, but I'm saving them for like dedicated videos. I want to show you guys a little bit of our fridge, but I want to save it for like a fridge organization video. If you want your house to look taller, hang the curtain rod at least four inches away from the ceiling. So like that, and then eight inches away from the window. These currents make the house look so much taller. If you guys watched our empty house tour, you guys can see like a big difference of what the currents look like compared to when the wall was just empty. I got this table from our house and it's a little expensive, but it was like the only table I can find that I fell in love with. I really love the color. It's a bit darker than the floors, but we're gonna actually put a rug here. And then these chairs are also from our house as well too. And then I ordered a, another console for here, but that doesn't come in till another eight weeks so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next one i think we're gonna start with the kitchen first with decorating so stay tuned mm -hmm. 